Excuse the whispering. I hope you guys can hear me good. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put this mic on so you guys can hear me. I started. I want to start this video off today. We will be doing the vlogging. I'm gonna let y'all see some of my morning routine I'm doing. I have some clothes I need to fold up and put away. Just a moment. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday to everybody. Uh, I'm starting off this vlog today because I have some wanted to take bring you guys on my morning routine or what shall I say the start of my day journey. I have some clothes I need to fold. I want to uh, and my bed is down low because my granddaughter's here. She's in the living room on the mattress. Uh, I want to fold some clothes. I'm gonna take my medicines and then I'm gonna uh, do my walk. But I wanted to bring you guys along with me as I. Um, start folding up my clothes i don't know about this mic i'm gonna take this off because guys i want you guys to hear me and um i don't want to talk very loud and wake up that little boy that's in there because i just heard him i'm trying to do what i gotta do quietly i want to share my Weight loss results with you guys. Uh, I want to share my weight loss results with you guys and let you guys know that I am down. Y'all can't see me. Let you guys know that I am down five more pounds. I started this walk 30, what is it, 39 days ago. See, I put it up. It's 39 days or something like that ago. I've been walking. It's hard for me to keep up stuff like that. But I think it's 39 days ago. I don't want to, I ain't got time to look it up because I got stuff to do today. But I started this journey 39 days ago, I think it is. And when I weighed in my first two weeks, I had lost like nine point some pounds. Okay, almost 10 pounds. Today, and it's been like almost three weeks later that I weighed. And, um, yeah, because I've been walking now for a month and probably like five days. So, anyway, I, I lost nine pounds when I first started walking. Now, I weighed in. I had only lost five more pounds from what I weighed in that weight. One thing I know is I'm retaining fluid. So um, when I go to my doctor, I'm going to have her to give me a water pill, not just a fluid pill, because that fluid pill, I know I can go buy water pill over the counter, but I want to take it to my doctor first, because I know when you take a lot of water and fluid pills, it lowers your potassium. So I want to get a water pill, because for some reason, I am retaining fluid, um, and I need to want to get excess water weight out of my body. And I believe that's why I only lost five pounds, but can y'all tell I have lost five more pounds, so that's a total of 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, in a month, and I want y'all to look at this body. See if y'all can tell that I, you know, look at me. Look at me. When I bought these pants, when I bought these pants, I was staying with my pastor, and I couldn't even fit them. Look at them. Look at them, and they got grown in them. I have lost 15 pounds, and it's remarkable all together and I feel good about it guys and I hope that this motivates somebody to do what they want to do because you can do anything that you want to do so I feel real good about this let me let this up a little is this 
Seems like it's up high as it go, but seems like it's a little low to me, but I ain't gonna worry about that today because I ain't got time for all this. But yeah, 15 pounds. That is so good. So yay to myself. Give myself a slap on the back for sticking with it. You know, I, could, I never thought I could be able to stick with walking until it become habit for me. That's what I look forward to. If I get that call from the um the city of Milwaukee Housing Authority for the move into the low bedroom apartment, the low income, I think I'm gonna take it because you know, guys, let me tell you something. It is they have a fitness center in there and I wanna work out. You know, I already walk so I continue to walk my hog, but I wanna work out, do other stuff, and they have a fitness center, so you know, I am so excited. I'm so happy to be able to walk. Um, as soon as I get through doing what I'm doing now, I'm going to go and I'm going to walk. Get my walk in for the day, you know. Yesterday I made my goal of my 10,000 steps because I don't make that goal every day. Because I have a body that, you know, It's full of aches and pains. So I don't make 10,000 steps every day. Like I, that's my goal, but I don't do it because I hurt. You know, when you have arthritis, then I had total knee replacement. I broke my ankle before, so, and that ankle really bothers me since I've been walking because I'm doing something new to it and it gotta get used to it. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all can hear me. If you can't, turn the volume up on your, um, on your TV, your phone, whatever you're looking at me on, turn your body up. So when I go walk in the day, I'm going to uh, try to take y'all on the journey, but it's just so hard for me to walk and carry a camera, hold a camera, you know, in my hand and, and do what I need to do at the same time. But I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt it, okay? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to do it. Um, also, I'm getting ready to start doing cooking vlogs. When I cook, I'm going to start vlogging it because I got a lot of people that want to see cooking videos. So I'm going to be vlogging it. I got to go do laundry some more. Uh, I didn't have enough change because they charge our laundry machines and dryers here is $2. Which I think that is a little steep, but you know, at least God bless us to have one in the building. I don't have to worry about going out asking nobody, uh, you know, to take me to the laundry man, this and that. So, it's all right. So, I got to go. So, I'll go find me a way to go get me some quarters, and then I'll be washing today. I think I got my two loads of clothes that I need to wash and dry. So, that's two, four, six. That's eight dollars. So, I just probably get one roll of quarters. So, that way I can get my stuff wash and done with it, you know, so yeah, I waited a kind of a long time today to wash, I'm getting ready to take my meds, and um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this walking job, uh, get my bed made up, I don't know what I'm going to walk in, I don't know what I'm going to put on to walk in, and I say, dressers, drawers. I don't have any. So, all my night clothes I put right up here on the shelf. And my uh, walking clothes. And I walked in these the other day. So, uh, I think I'm going to be walking in these again today. Yep, I walked in these the other day. So, I'm going to walk in these again today. Uh, yep. That's what I'm going to do. Walk knees again today. That's my little red shirt. I put it on under there. And this is so comfortable. So, I'm going to walk in it today. I would walk in these shorts. Y'all know I don't do shorts. And I still walk in these today. Because I like these shorts. They're comfortable now. They are so comfortable. Now I'm telling you. I've lost weight. And I can really feel feeling good about it.
still but I need to uh, get these socks up we got some dirty socks that I gotta put in the dirty clothes this is my bag I'm gonna keep that I walk in that bag on it because that bag I could put the put my phone on me and it tracked my walking I don't know why I'm not staying looking extra extra low it ain't tall enough up to me but Come on, y'all, let's sit down so I can uh, take my medicine right quick. I'm going to take my medicine. I don't like to rub my chair on my background thing. So I like to bring this table out well enough so I don't have to rub my chair. Y'all know I ain't skinny. But. Not skinny. Try to make sure the camera ain't crooked. I believe every time I get on this camera, it be crooked. But I'm gonna take my meds with y'all, and then I'm gonna end the video. And uh, and we gonna go ahead and do what we do. So I'm just gonna. I got my vitamins here, y'all know. This phone, this thing is still crooked. Vitamins here. I'm going to get all my vitamins out, take my medicine. I don't think I'm going to take y'all on this walk with me because, I, like I say, I walk for like 40 minutes. And that's a long time and I'm not doing it. I'm not going to go live, so I'm not going to take y'all on the walk. But I'll keep y'all updated. I'll take my vitamins. I'm ready for to do my walk. I'm excited. Take the charge of Tamika. I know you're going to watch this video. I am down five more pounds. That's a total of 15 pounds altogether. And I hope you look at this video. You can see it like I can see. I can see it here. I can see it. You know, I, this always be the first place I can see when I'm losing weight. It's right here in my shoulders because I can feel out my bones. So, yeah. <laughs> my vitamins. B12, something I'm missing. That ain't just my vitamin D. Uh, I need my vitamin D. I need my glory. I need this. Uh, since I'm trying to lose weight, I'm taking more medicine than I was taking. Because that's my vitamin. My vitamin D. Most of my medicine is vitamins, guys. All these we get is vitamins. This is uh, a fat. This is a fat burn pill. Okay, for my doctor. Okay, I'm just not going to start these because I just got them. Uh, I took those before. They don't do nothing. But if you eat a thing that's really fat, it take the fat out of it. I'm waiting for these. Anything that you eat really fat, it takes the fat. How do you? It coming out. Oh yeah, orange. All your clothes will be orange. You can see I had those before, so it's just to help me with my weight loss. That's all. And my magnesium. That's the dose pill for my vertigo. This is my uh, fluid pill right here. It's, it's. I just feel it's so not strong enough. Because I take it and I still have fluid on me all through the day, but I do use the bath. I think it worked more at night because I used the bathroom so much at night. Oh my goodness. A lot. And I say a lot, lot. I use a lot, lot at night. Okay, these are my high, my blood pressure pills. I only have to take a half of one now because I don't have high blood pressure anymore. So let me just chop up some for the half of some days. Yeah, my blood pressure do not be high anymore. So, uh, actually, they get ready to take it out of my record. And it's been like that for years. My blood pressure runs low now. Because I lost so much weight. And I wish y'all could have seen me before I actually had that surgery done to my stomach to lose weight. Because I was 600 and some pounds. I wish y'all could have seen me. Now, these are my regular meds. 
that I take. And the two blue ones are vertigo for vertigo because I have vertigo real bad. That's dizziness. So I'm going to take these. And I'm going to take this. Take that. Chew these vitamins. I hope you guys are having a good day. I just want to read the word of the day with you guys. I'm not going to expand on it. I just want to read it. And then we're going to read it up. It looks so beautiful outside today. Yesterday it was all rainy and gloomy. Oh, it rained all day yesterday. The verse of the day is coming from Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17. It said, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. The inspiration said, We never abandon our friends. It's difficult to be present when a friend is experiencing an ex exceptionally difficult hardship. Sometimes their sadness brings us down and we are tempted to separate ourselves from the situation. We commission we are commissioned to be loyal friends, never believing in love one side when times are tough. The Holy Spirit is faithful and will guide through moments that seem too difficult to say and yes it is. We need to ask the Lord to help us to remain loyal. Uh, to our beloved friends, no matter what circumstances or what situation they are going through. Because one thing about it is our spiritual friends are a special gift. The devotion of the day is coming from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 53 through 55. The title is, Christ has conquered sins and death. Christ Christ has conquered sins and death. Jesus came so that the natural order could be restored. Jesus came so that the natural order could be restored. When Christ came, when he gave his life, he conquered sins and death. So we don't have to worry about those anymore. We need to remain faithful and stay strong in the Lord. Remember to repent of all our sins. And we'll be just fine because Christ, he came. To set the world back in order, okay? Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15, 53. Mm. That vitamin take forever to. 1 Corinthians 15, 53. Says, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, talking about Jesus. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death has swallowed up in victory. Verse 55, O death, where is thy sting? In O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is law. 57 said, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. God gave us victory through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ came and conquered sin and death. And defeated the grave. So we don't have to be afraid of that anymore. Because God said, I do not give you the spirit of fear. Fear is from the enemy. It's from the devil. And then the last verse, 58, say, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Your word is blessed. 
Let everyone that hear this word be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father God, I want to thank you for blessing me every single day. I ask that you watch over each and every member of my family, all of my neighbors, my co-workers, my friends. Watch over all of my subscribers and their families and keep us all safe and covered in the blood of Jesus. Because we know that you gave your son Jesus up and allowed him to come here to defeat all things for us, God. Hallelujah. We have been made new. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, and we shall not be removed, and we shall not be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you all got something out of it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, we are all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace we have because Jesus died and left that peace here with us. And remember, Jesus went down in the grave. He defeated sin, grave, and death for us. God loved us so much that he allowed his own son to die so that we may live. I love you. Happy Tuesday. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.